Hi, I'm Ann with Two Wheel America. We're at the Georgia Hog Rally in Hawassi, Georgia. Hey, my name's Frank Mize. This is uh, I'm with Ride Solutions. This is uh, a product that I call Bag Iron. I uh, invented this in uh, 07 to fit my heritage. Uh, I've got a 2007 uh, Heritage Soft Tail. Uh, the bike has uh, 67,000 miles on it right now, and the bags look new. So that's what I was trying to do is accomplish something where I don't have to worry about my bags long term. You spend a lot of money on these bikes, you want them to look good. This is an 05 Heritage that uh, really never had a chance at a good level, uh, a good box. And the box is the secret of a good lid. You start high on the shoulder and it drops immediately lower to the outside edge, which creates high pockets and a sag, which is very characteristic of these bags. We take all the weight bearing responsibility back to the frame of the motorcycle creates T-bars in the rear and in the front. These, these are each designed specifically to fit the heritage bag. Every, every angle of it, every bit of it follows the heritage shape and creates it, returns it to its original shape. So anyway, what I'm gonna do right now is install this one in. Uh, I usually install the rear first and then the front. Let's see how that goes. Take the rear T-bar and put it underneath the leather between the existing rivets and pull it into place like that. Then you take the front, do the same here, and with a little effort, pop that into place like that. Finishing the job, you just put that up over the standard Harley hardware. You never know what you're going to see. Sometimes people take good care of their leather like these people have. Sometimes the leather has been neglected. No sunlight, a lot of rain, that sort of thing. With this steel in here, it doesn't respond to heat or cold or rain see the bag lift literally as this is installed. It's installed like that. What that means is when your lid comes back down over that, you snap her into place. That badly sagging lid a moment ago has steel from front to rear under here. You can't make it collapse. Now also, that also means this bag characteristically can pull 35 to 50 pounds of weight. It's something that we guys put a lot of tools in. We care, we get our bags, we expect our bags to handle all that weight. Uh, once you've done that, gravity starts working for you instead of against you. And that's the idea. I'm Kevin Frankie. You've probably seen me out on the open road before. I've uh, worked for Rumbling Pride for 10 years, and people know us most for our motorcycle flags, mounts, mounting systems and also our LED lighting systems. Um, we're one of the few manufacturers that are out there in terms of LED lighting. We can do everything from engine compartments to front to backs. Um, everything that we do, which is key, is kind of modular in design, so it gives the bike serviceability from a Harley-Davidson standpoint. Which a lot of people don't know what we do is we do a lot of the LED lighting for uh, Kiriakin. We do them for a lot of different hog rallies across the country. We attend about 25. Georgia was actually on the tail end of the uh, Milwaukee rally this year. Um, we also do all the hog chapter flights for Harley Davidson and North Scott worldwide as well. So there's a lot of things that we do behind the scenes, so a lot of people may not recognize our name, Rumbling Pride, but we actually do a lot of branding for different companies. Uh, Christian Motorcyclists Association, Harley Owners Group, Red Knights, Blue Knights, Fire and Iron, uh, and the list just goes on and on. So. Um, we've been around 10 years. Uh, we don't like to promote and say that we're the best, but we think we're the best people to hang out with. So, yes, we were at the Georgia State Hog Rally, um, which again was at the tail end of the Milwaukee Rally, which will fall there every year. Hopefully next year Columbus, Georgia gets it. But we are in Hiawassee, Georgia at the Georgia State Fairgrounds. So, oh, in Rumbling Pride, we're based out of Lakeland, Florida. Hi, this is Tim McCarty, and I represent... Uh, Erific Molds. We're a hearing protection company. We make and sell uh, custom molded earplugs, 
and custom molded earplugs with uh, music ability. Extremely comfortable to use. Uh, I've literally been on bikes 14 hours a day using them. Extremely comfortable. No pain like the foam style does. My name is Bob George with Bike Chief Incorporated. We're at the Hog Rally here in Georgia for the 2012 convention, and we're having a blast. We're actually offering a new waterproof product that covers the seat and tank of your bike, and it keeps the dew off in the morning, no more hotel towels. They don't like it when you steal those anyway. But it also keeps the pollen and the dust from getting on your paint, ruining your finish, and the whole thing weighs anywhere from 8 to 11 ounces, and is small enough to fit into the smallest crevice on your bike for storage. Hi, my name is Harrison Christian. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. We have a store called the Christian Biker Touch of Class. It's a uh, motorcycle shop. Uh, we're able to download patterns from the internet. We do digitizing. So if you have anything personalized that might need to be done, uh, uh, a pattern uh, for bike club or whatever, we can uh, get it in on a JPEG through the internet and uh, uh, give you an estimate on what it would cost to digitize it and put it on, on the material. Yeah, this pattern here is going to run about uh, about 8 to $10. Uh, actually, I made this one on the fly. It was a little bit fast job. I would have liked to have made it a little bit smaller, but uh, I think the customer's going to be satisfied with it when, it's, when she sees the final product. I don't have to do a, the same pattern on one sheet. I can set it up to do several different patterns. That one makes it so handy out here in the field because uh, everybody wants different stuff. And if I got three different customers want three different orders, I can come up with the patterns on one sheet. Uh, you can either hit our Facebook site as uh, Christian Biker Shop, or you can uh, call us directly. Uh, at our store, 706-305-1868 or 706-803-2397. For Q, baby back ribs and um, smoked chicken, and we have a little bit of everything. Potato salad, coleslaw, we have, this is our barbecue rig here, and we try to go to all the bike rallies and festivals that we can go to and have a good time with everybody. Next biker rally is um, Stone Mountain, Harley. On honor the military and all. Hi, my name's Jim. We're uh, at the Georgia State Hall Rally in Hiawatha, Georgia. I own a company by the name of Biker Stuff by J&D, my wife and I. And we have a bracelet here that we are particularly proud of. These bracelets are 316 stainless steel. We size them, we fit them for you, and we guarantee those for life. Where our next rally we'll be at will be uh, Junebug 2 in Cooksville, Tennessee in two weeks. Hi, I'm Ron Simmons with uh, In Solutions and we are InSolutions.com and we are very excited. We're at the Hiawassee uh, Hog Rally and we've got a great attendance here, lots of good, great people. And we sell an insole that it fits in every shoe, in every boot, gives you arch support, takes pressure off of your heels, front part of your feet. And we've had several that have purchased in many other rallies that we do. We do them around the country and they have shared with us even when they're riding on their bikes, it helps the vibration on their feet. This young lady is experiencing, uh, she's experiencing stepping on to our foot scan that allows us an opportunity to tell you exactly where your balance is, your body posture, and where your pressure points are. That ultimately allows us the opportunity to, dis to discover where and how and what causes some back pain, knee pain, and hip pain, which this is ultimately designed to take care of. You see on the picture here, her two highest pressure points are on the outside balls of her feet, or actually one on the outside ball of her feet, and the other one is on the inside which can cause some complications with her knees, hips, and most likely in her lower back. And the reason for that being is when she walks, she puts all her pressure on the inside of her left foot and the outside of her right. So if you allow yourself the opportunity for standing at home to put your feet in that position, 
you will experience the tightness that your body experiences every day when you walk. Therapeutic insole, and as you can see, one of the things that allows us great success with it, it is very thin. And the people who have purchased two to four and five hundred dollar insoles are hard insoles. They actually are not doing everything that they're feasible and are capable of doing. They wear them this over top of them. The reason for that being is, as you can see, this feel this with your hand, ma'am.